well, first of all, thank you all for, for attending this, this conference and this presentation in, in particular, which I am very fond to be a part of, uh, together with my colleague, Maria Angeles. Uh, my name is Jesus, and we will be introducing uh, the ECHO platform, Pangeanix ECHO platform, which is bound to revolutionize the language industry, the natural language processing industry as a whole. And well, I will, I will be covering a little bit of background of, uh, of our company and how, how we've got to, to this point, uh, where we've come from. And, and she will be uh, going to, into detail and covering the, the ins and outs of, of the platform, which is the, the main guest of this, this presentation and session. <clears throat> well, here you can see a series of, of milestones that the company has achieved throughout the years. It started as a traditional translation company offering professional services, which we still do, by the way. We still cover a wide range of, of translation services and revision and proofreading services. But throughout the years, as you can see, uh, the, the, the goal was to, to use technology as an asset. And for example, uh, in 2007, 2008, um, we, we were the first to, sorry for that. We were the first to to, to use Moses commercially and statistical engines. And uh, as you can see, later on, uh, we were part of several EU projects. Uh, we were offered uh, to, to participate in, in also with in collaboration with, with the University of Valencia, the Polytechnic University, for example. And well, I will not be covering everything in detail because we are a little bit constrained but by the time as well. But um, we got to this point, 2021, and the state of the art is a, a deep adaptive technology. And we've uh, got to, to, uh, to, to a state of, of the technology where everything can be changed. And Echo, as we said, this platform, uh, our goal is to, to change how MTs manage and engines are and data extraction as well. So you can see here a little bit of a representation of the class between the 20th century processes and mindsets and the 21st century uh, AI training and AI uh, developing and um, technology um, developing and research. And many claims um, have been, well, uh, presented as to what human parity can, can be achieved. And we are not shy to say that our engines can achieve uh, up until 90, 98% of human parity. Of course, it depends on language pairs and domains. But for example, in Romance languages, for example, Portuguese, Italian, French, into Spanish, or into Catalan. Uh, I myself, as a linguist in Great Manta, but also as a linguist, have been really surprised as to what can be achieved uh, in terms of, of quality. <clears throat> and GMT um, is our technological division and uh, it, was, uh, it, it is what has developed uh, this ECHO platform, which is bound to be, as I said, uh, uh, a shift, is bound to, to, to make a shift in the paradigm of, of language processing. And uh, through have a series of, of services that can be, well, here you can have a brief overview that uh, my colleague will be explaining in a minute. But the, the goal is to not only to, to offer matching translation, but also to intertwine another range, wide range of services that can be and that can be incorporated and can be merged, can be married with the with matching translation or or one, one another, for example, summarization or anonymization or key data extraction, for example. Um, well, the goal is to offer a wide range of products as a boutique, not only a traditional translation company, but to, to offer uh, services and the client is expect to, to choose whatever they, they find best for their, for their interests. Uh, well, that will be all for, for me. I will let my, my colleagues uh, go into the ins and outs, as I said, of the co platform. And I hope you, you enjoyed the, the rest of this presentation. Thank you. 
Good morning, everybody. I hope all of you are enjoying the seminars and workshops offered at this KTLC edition. As my colleague Jesus told you, my name is Maria Angeles, and I work as a senior project manager in Panjanic. I usually work in translation projects, but also in technological projects. In fact, lately, the technological projects are gradually beginning to take over more and more space in our everyday work. Today, I bring here some solutions developed by Panjeanic that can help you to improve your workflows and procedures. These solutions include machine translation, anonymization, our own linguistic tool, allowing working with different task types, as for instance, translation, revision, validation, annotation, etc. And also a plugin to connect with our main platform. As the main guest, I want to introduce you Echo. This is our main platform. It includes different technological solutions related to the linguistic field, like machine translation, anonymization, and engine management, among others. First, I would like to show you some of these solutions, starting from the machine translation service. As you can see on this slide, ECHO offers you the possibility of translating a file or a piece of text, depending on your needs. If you need to translate a file, you can just drag and drop the document on this area. Uh, the formats accepted uh, for, for this option are doc, docs, PPTX, XLS, X, PDF, and TXT. And then you can download the file from this section. Here, you have all the translated files available to be downloaded. ECHO also allows you to monitor your usage and costs by checking different statistics available on the platform. For example, you can check the amount of words, characters, or segments translated within a month. Since ECHO also allows you, uh, the client, to create different users, you can also monitor the usage of each user. One of the most important functionalities available in ECHO is the engines, engines management, which includes both cloning and training your own models. You can clone a generic model and then adapt it to a specific domain or client by training it with translation memories. As you can see, you can manage the process yourself. The models you selected are available on the platform. As you can see, the process is easy and user-friendly. Once you have cloned the model, it is ready to be trained with your TMX. You can specify also the aggressivity you want to use to train the model. You can choose among conservative, normal, and aggressive. Different machine learning techniques are used depending on the aggressivity level you choose. Of course, we can provide you with more information about the deep adaptive model training in case you are interested in. Even more, we can offer you a free demo if you want. Another solution available in ECHO is anonymization. This service helps you to comply with the privacy regulations to store data that can't be identified or to share information that can't be tracked. Basically, the idea is replacing the sensitive data with text. This data can be personal names, locations, etc. As mentioned before, Pandianic also offers the possibility to work directly with a plugin. This plugin gives you access to our engines working from different CAD tools, like SDL Studio or MemoQ or others. You should ask us about the platform you need to work with. Recently, our technical 
Technological Division has developed a very powerful linguistic tool. It is called PECAT. It empowers PM's work and the linguist self-management by allowing them to have a greater control over the project. An example of this empowerment is the multiple KPIs available on the dashboard and ready to be checked at first glance or also the possibility to access the current project through a quick shortcut available also on the dashboard. This tool also includes an auto QA function, very useful for translation and revision projects. And mm, its interface is very user friendly. Another functionality I, I love from this tool is uh, that the reviser can work at the same time as the translation, the, the translator does, sorry, which helps to detect a poor work in advance. And you can take measures in time. You don't have to wait to the last moment, prior delivery to detect a, a poor work. And you can avoid a lot of problems with this. As mentioned before also, you have available several types of projects that can be managed with this tool. As for instance, translation, revision, validation, or annotation projects. Here you have a sample of how to how would work a validation project, where a translator must uh, validate a translation uh, just uh, telling if the translation is accepted or if it should be amended or if it should be directly reacted. Even uh, the tool also allows you to leave a translation in pending status. And then you can come back to this TU and, and check it again if you have to do some research and search for, search for information and things like that. And here we have a sample of an annotation project where the different entities can be annotated by using different IDs. Like here, you have the ID for client, but there are several, even you can create them if you need it. And this is all. Uh, this is what we could explain to you with the short time we had. Sorry for not offering more details, but the idea was that you know a little bit of the most interesting services that we can offer you and which will help you to improve your day-to-day -day work. If you have any queries, please contact my colleague, Virginia. She will be very pleased to help you. Thank you very much. I hope all of you have a very happy day.